Welcome to the Make Life Your Bitch podcast. I'm your host, Brittany Alicia. Greatness is a decision and your birthright. You deserve to love the woman looking back at you in the mirror. This show is for the purpose-driven female entrepreneur who is committed to only counting the time she gets back up. The woman who is ready to ignite the flame within, find her voice, and use the power of her story to transform the lives of those around her. This is your weekly fuel to inspire you to action, where I'll be sharing inspirational stories, real talks with thought leaders and successful entrepreneurs from around the world, and provide you with actionable success strategies for creating a business you love. I'm a content marketing coach, and I'm committed to helping you as an online creator and entrepreneur wherever you are to turn your dreams into a reality, to help you transform your messaging so you can create a genuine connection with your audience and grow your income online. You are far more powerful and stronger than you will ever imagine. We are the warriors. You were born for this. Let's make life your bitch. Hello, hello. Welcome to the Make Life Your Bitch podcast. I am your host, Brittany Alicia. And today we are going to talk all about creating content through the power of experiences. So as you know, if you listen to the introduction, I am a content marketing coach. And my focus is to help you, my clients, women who are in business, really be able to share their story with the world and be able to sell through connection. So what ended up happening was a week or two ago, I was on a Make Life Your Bitch mastermind call with my clients and we started talking about content. And so many times I've told them that In order for you to create content every single day, you have to go out and live your life. And there can be a misconception as to what living your life means. So I want to break it down for all of you, for anyone listening as to how you can really go out and start creating content. And I really believe that it is so, so important that your life is the center of your life, (laughs) right? And any business that you are creating, you are building a business around your life. So if you have, you know, every Monday, you want to spend time with your kids the entire day. That means you don't do business that day, if that's not what you want to do. But what happens with a lot of people is they think that they need to do business, business, business stuff. And all of a sudden they find themselves no longer living, that they're completely consumed by their business. And I was talking to a client and I asked her, when you were the most successful in your business, it was a year ago, her and I, uh, with my clients, I would talk about how it gets to be easy, how business gets to be easy. And I said to her just last week, I said, so When it comes to that belief that you used to have of it gets to be easy, I said, what was happening in your life when you were had clients pouring in, clients reaching out to you and connecting with you? What exactly were you doing? And she said, in those moments, like that month, she said, I did a lot less business stuff. I was out, I was living, I was happy. And I wasn't consumed by my business and I got so many referrals. And so we were talking about the energy behind that, the energetics behind being able to show up without the feeling of desperation, without people feeling that you're there only for business. What we want to be able to do is we want to actually tap into the energetics of people being able to feel you and connect with you as a human being. And so when it comes to creating experiences in your life, we can't just jump into the idea that, okay, now I'm going to go to the beach and I'm going to take pictures while I'm there and write a post. And there we go. Now I have content because the reality is, is you're not going to be able to go to the beach every single day. You're not going to be able to go for lunch every single day. Of course, I mean, by all means, if you can, like all the power to you. But if all we focus on is I'm going out and living and I'm creating these beautiful photos, what happens when you don't go 
out somewhere and you're just staying at home. So in order to start creating experiences for your life, in order to start feeling over the moon about your business and your life and like you, you only, I want to say you only get one if you're someone who believes in reincarnation, maybe you get multiple lives. But right now in this moment, this is your life. This is one life that you're living. And I don't want you to end up at the end of your life and be asking yourself, you know, I spent all this time building a legacy and I didn't even live it. And that's why I always say my favorite, my favorite thing to say to people is go out and live in your legacy. You know, go live it because if you want to leave a legacy behind and you haven't even lived it yourself, there's going to be a disconnect there. So when we go out and we're creating experiences, this is using your five senses. So you are feeling, you are seeing, you're listening, you're tasting. And so by being able to tap into our five senses in our life, it allows us to see the bigger picture. We, we actually end up noticing way more. And so a good way of being able to tap into this in the very beginning, we can feel very overwhelmed if all of a sudden we try and do all the senses all at once. So waking up in the morning and focusing just for that day that I am going to feel more. And I don't just mean internal feeling. I mean, you get out of bed, And as you're getting out of bed, you feel the warmth of your bed. You feel the smoothness of your sheets. You feel the weight of the blanket releasing from you. You step your feet over, you know, off the edge of the bed and you feel the coolness of the floor. Maybe it's a rug that you have there and you can feel the texture. As you walk down the hallway, you can feel the shift in one floor, one room from the other, you know, maybe the temperature, you can feel a little breeze on your skin. Maybe you had the window open and you can actually feel the warmth of the sun pouring in. And throughout your entire day, focusing on the feeling, what you can touch, right? And even in the shower, you know, the warmth of the water pouring over you, maybe when you're washing your hair and just scrubbing and, you know, you feel the texture on your head and you're massaging it and tap into the gratitude of feeling these. And in the moments during the day where you realize, oh no, I forgot to feel, (laughs) oh goodness, I, I stopped, you know, allow yourself grace and come back to it. And then the next day, listen, one of the things I had my clients do was I asked them, and you can do it right now, is I want you to take a big breath in through your nose, hold at the top and breathe out. And now take another deep breath in and blow it all out. If your eyes are closed, I want you to open them now. And I want you to look around your room and I want you to identify something that you've never noticed before. What is something that you've never noticed? And so is it something that you see? Is it something that you hear? Is there a smell? And as you take a look around and identify for yourself what that one thing was that you noticed. Was it positive or was it negative? And so when I asked my clients this, a lot of them noticed a scuff on the wall. They noticed something that was dirty, something that needed to be fixed. And that's not necessarily the way to experience life. We want beauty in our lives. We want to create the most magical, beautiful life that we could ever dream of, right? I hear so many women saying that they want to go after their dreams, that they help people go after their dreams. And the dreams begin here and now in this moment. 
you know, we don't constantly chase dreams. We don't want to chase dreams. We want to be able to live in them now and compound onto them, expand them, and really tap into that gratitude now. And when you can actually start to feel and create experiences in your life, if you're someone who has a gratitude journal or you go through a gratitude practice every day, if you actually focus on the senses of what you're grateful for, you amplify the vibration of gratitude because it's no longer just a thought. You have created a feeling. And that's what we want to be able to do when it comes to experiences. We want to be able to create feelings and imprint them into our bodies, into our senses, so that when you are trying to manifest something, when you are dreaming big and you have your eyes closed, maybe you dream with your eyes open and you're saying to yourself like, oh, I want this. And someone says to you, you need to feel into it. You can actually pull from your own experiences because you know what it feels like to feel wealthy in a moment, to feel abundant in a moment, instead of trying to look and create an experience or a feeling that you've never felt before. Because we want to, like I said, we want to be able to amplify the feeling or the experience that you've already lived. So each day, take one sense and start practicing in that way. Start practicing and feeling. And the next day, focus on touch, or I guess feeling and touch are similar. But, you know, if you're experiencing touch first, what I would have explained earlier was touch. Maybe you want to go to the internal feeling the next day and being able to really feel inside of your body. Maybe you want to feel your heartbeat, being able to feel through your intuition. Maybe when someone speaks to you and something just hits your heart and soul, you feel butterflies or tingles and creating an awareness. That's what we want to do is we want to be able to create an awareness around our entire lives. And, you know, the next day it's taste, right? Um, Everything that you taste, whether it's your coffee, like slowing down, feeling the warmth, but tasting it. Tasting breakfast. You know, maybe you make yourself a smoothie. All of a sudden you realize, wow, like I can really taste the raspberries in here today. Or I can really taste blueberries or whatever it is. You know, slowing down when you eat supper and just appreciating every single bite. Allowing yourself to tap into listening. Really listening to your surroundings. All of a sudden, do you hear the breeze? Do you hear birds chirping? What do you hear around you? Even if you just took a moment right now, what do you hear? Is there a buzzing? Is there something with this podcast where you can hear something? Maybe you can hear the music that I'm listening to in my headphones right now as I am speaking this because I actually have headphones on right now and I'm listening to music as I'm talking about this. So maybe you can hear that if you tap into that. And then also visual. When you are looking around, what do you see? And so I had asked you the question of, what do you see in the room that you're in? Can you find something now that is positive? Something beautiful in the room that you've never noticed before? In our home, we have beautiful paintings all throughout our house. And that's how this episode came to me was, well, what actually happened was my partner and I, my boyfriend, he doesn't like when I call him my partner, (laughs) my boyfriend and I were out for a walk with our daughter Scarlett and the dogs. And as we're walking the first day, so the first day we were walking and Scarlett, um, how many, it was about five weeks ago, four weeks ago, something like that. She ended up getting stung in our home by a wasp. And so now (laughs) we're all like on high alert of wasps. So we're out for a walk and all of a sudden I see around these trees, 
these bugs flying and I thought they were wasps. And I said to my part, like my boyfriend, ah, <laughs> I said to my boyfriend, I'm like, we need to move quickly. Like we need to get going because our one dog always likes to stop and smell the roses. And I said, we need to get going because I don't want her to get bit by a wasp. So we ended up getting home and didn't think too much of it. The next day we go for a walk. And as we're walking down the street, In that area where I thought they were wasps, my boyfriend stops and he looks and he says, oh, wow. He says, look at all the ladybugs on this tree. And it was covered. The whole like trunk of the tree was covered in ladybugs. And every single tree like it down that block had ladybugs on it. And all of a sudden it occurred to me that I never saw it. I wasn't really looking at my surroundings. I wasn't experiencing life. And I said, you know, yesterday I thought they were wasps. And I bet you it was ladybugs flying around. So how many times in your life do you assume or have an experience of something that wasn't actually what it was? You know, like how many times have you had someone say to you, you say to them, oh, you said this, or oh, I felt this way when you said this. And all of a sudden, if you actually went back into that situation, that's not what happened at all. Or, you know, all of a sudden you realize that you went on a vacation and you get home and you all of a sudden ask yourself, did I really experience that? Or was I too much in my head and in my thoughts? and not really feeling it. So when I tell my clients, go out and experience life, beauty and pictures come from from them going out and actually taking a moment to slow down and see the beauty in life, to listen to the beauty in life, to be able to tap into the way that their body feels. And that's when content flows through you, all of a sudden, like you get these downloads from the universe, your higher power, whatever it is from yourself that you connect with your audience, you connect with all of a sudden the story, the beautiful story that you are creating in your life. Is there a moment in your life when you look back that you can remember where you were As a part of your story, you can still close your eyes and picture it. 9-11 is always one that people speak of because so many people, you can ask them, where were you when you found out about the Twin Towers on 9-11? And they can tell you where they were. For me, I was eight years old. I was in grade two and I remember walking into the living room that morning, my stepdad was sitting on the couch watching the news. I remember what side of the living room I walked into. And I remember seeing the plane hit the tower and just being in shock. And even as a kid, I knew that it was terrible. And I'm, I live in Canada and it shook not just the United States, but the entire world. And I remember going to school that day and sitting in the library and watching the news. You know, as a child, we're sitting there watching the news because it was such an event in history that happened. So, so many of us know exactly where we were. We remember how we felt. I remember the flooding feeling over my body, even though I didn't really know what was happening. And a couple years ago, I was in New York and I ended up going to the 9-11 Memorial. And the moment you walk across that tree line, there's this energy that you can just feel throughout your whole body. And I ended up going down and I had, I ended up getting the tour where you can listen to it. And before I went there, I had people tell me, if you're going to go make sure you do something fun after because it's heavy. And around that time, I wasn't someone who was experiencing emotions. I remember around that time really feeling into the fact that 
I loved my life so much. And so in 2018, I had completely fallen in love with my life and with myself. I went on a huge emotional journey of healing. And when I was there and I was loving my life, I was experiencing life. That's how I fell in love with my life and I fell in love with myself is I actually learned how to experience life. And so I'm at the World Trade Center um, Memorial and even though I was tapped into the experiences and my emotions, I didn't expect to happen what did. And I ended up going into the one room where they had all of the voice messages and the voicemail that people sent to each other and the feeling that just poured over me as I was listening to these people share messages to their loved ones and my whole body I had goosebumps and the tears just poured out of me there was no stopping them and I felt all of it. There was no, there was no shoving that down. There was no denying the feelings. It was an experience that I think everyone should take the time to go if you have ever been there. And I'm not saying to have the experience of crying, but I mean, being able to experience something in your life If you are someone who remembers where you were the day that you found out of the Twin Towers, I want to say, yes, go, go now and feel into it because you've already felt that. And when you can go there and you amplify it, it's like this compound effect. And so if you're someone who's into manifestation, that's what the key is, is we want to tap into gratitude what we want to tap into the gratitude that we have in our lives right now, things that have happened now, so that we can relate it to our dreams and desires, that there creates this connection and we can truly feel it in our bodies. If you are someone that when you do visualizations, you really struggle with feeling, this is a great exercise for you when it comes to experiencing life. And with content, If you go out and experience life, like I said, the content that you create and the images that you capture are going to have a different beauty to them. And I don't mean you have to go out, like I said, every single day. Where's the beauty in your life right now, in your home, in your own backyard? And when you go out for a drive, maybe your coffee in the morning, maybe you just like absolutely love morning coffee and maybe you're someone who makes your own espresso maybe you just love the warmth of it maybe you could capture a picture of the steam coming off your cup in the morning because you just love the warmth maybe you're someone who does make espresso and you want to make it beautiful for yourself and capture a picture of that maybe the snuggles with your child or your dog or your pet And you're able to capture a picture of their beauty. And maybe you want someone else to capture the beauty. Is there something in your life when it comes to the connection that you feel through these experiences that all of a sudden you see a picture differently and you want to share that with people? Is there something that when it comes to these experiences that allows you to tap into the feeling and be able to share that feeling with others. Because when we create content and we actually tell the story, right? I always talk about the power of story and you tap into the feeling, you know, on March 13th, I went out for a walk and I was wearing my blue suede shoes. And I remember the way I even just tied them, the way I tied them that day, it just, I felt like there was an extra skip in my step. I felt powerful. And it's that whole feeling of like being out in my blue suede shoes. And that's why I bought them was because I listened to that song and it, it brings me confidence every time I put on those shoes. I just feel this power and this energy inside my entire body. It's like putting on a cape when I put that on. It's like when I do my hair, 
and I feel the straightener and the warmth go through there and I look in the mirror and, you know, high five myself. I'm Mel Robbins, high five myself. Maybe I, you know, tell myself I am beautiful and that's what brings joy to my life. That's what, that's the key to me feeling confident in the morning. And so if you're able to tell a story and create an experience for yourself that now you're sharing with the world through feeling, and no, I don't have blue suede shoes. Um, (laughs) If that's something that you're able to do, all of a sudden your audience, it's not really about the blue suede shoes, but it's about something in their life that they maybe wear that makes them feel super confident that they're like, yeah, I have something like that too. For me, it's You know, when I put on my jewelry, I feel like luxury. I feel beautiful. You get to tap into the feeling. You get to tap into creating experiences in your life. Creating beauty. And when you can create beauty in your life, you get to create your own experiences. So if you were to go out to your room and look at it, and there was something that you wanted to change, go change it and create the most beautiful space for yourself so that when you are in there, the feeling of abundance floods over you. The feeling of confidence and gratitude and luxury, whatever luxury is to you, you see it. You feel it, you smell it in that room, like really tap into the five senses so that in those days that maybe you're in another area of your home and someone else has created chaos, you can go into this place and it helps you with your manifestation. It helps you create your content in there because it allows you to tap into the senses. What I end up doing is I put a blanket on the ground, I have a pillow and I'll sit there and when I can meditate, the silence or the stillness, or maybe I listen to something, Um, you know, maybe I listen to the air movement. Maybe I dream with my eyes open and I can actually allow myself to see the auras or the particles. How many times have you had, you know, been outside, there's bugs flying around and you don't actually see them until they're like, you actually zoom out on what's happening in your life and you're like, oh, oh, look, like there's a whole bunch of bugs here. Interesting. I did not know that. Or you can be in a room and you know when you're in a room and the sun's shining in and all of a sudden you can see like the particles in the room. If you want to get into quantum physics, that is a great way to do it is to actually allow yourself to zoom out And from, you know, being two feet in front of yourself or being consumed in just, you know, the go, 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 the hustle, 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 where you miss things. I've fallen down the stairs. I can't even count how many times. And when I've been able to slow down and experience life, all of a sudden the content I create is so much different. All of a sudden the people who are attracted into my life, the clients, the women who want to be on the podcast, it's a whole different energy and a whole different vibe. Being able to slow down and not focus so much on the business side of things, but helping women share their story with the world gets to create more clients, more money in my life because I'm doing something I love. And that is true alignment. But if we don't allow ourselves to feel, do we even really know what joy feels like? Or do we have a thought about what joy is? A memory where we think about, oh yeah, that was really awesome. I remember being able to go to the beach. I remember being able to go to Mexico. I remember a couple of years ago when I was allowed to go to Mexico and now I'm not allowed to go, right? Versus... I remember last time I went to Puerto Vallarta walking down the street and I remember the day. I remember what it looked like. I can tell you what the Starbucks down near the Malecon looks like, where it is. And I remember walking in there to go and have a coffee. I remember my phone wasn't working and 
I bought my You Were Here cup. You Were Here in Mexico. Because that's the one thing that anytime I travel, I get one of those cups. And it takes me back to that place, to that moment. I remember the Starbucks that I go to. Every single Starbucks that I've purchased a cup from, I remember being in that Starbucks. I remember what it looked like, what it smelled like, because I be- was able to create an experience for myself. So I want to challenge you today to go and create an experience for yourself, whether that's you're going to go outside, whether it's that you are going to create an area in your home, in your vehicle, whatever it is. And anytime you catch yourself being like, I have to get in the hustle. I have to do more in order to be successful. Slow down, breathe in, and find something to experience because the energy you are going to let off when you create a piece of content is going to attract people far more, far more people to you, to your energy than it ever will if you're caught in the hustle, when you're caught in trying to create strategic content that is a template of something. There are lots of people out there who sell templates of, you know, different posts and they sell templates of emails and all that. I've I've purchased them. I've been part of them. I've sold them, right? But what I found that was the most resonating with my audience was when I actually connected to my heart and soul. And so I know there's going to be some of you guys who are listening to this and you ladies are like, I have no idea how to do that. I am not a writer. I am not someone who could sit there and write a book. I am not creative. That's another excuse people use is I'm not creative. So if that is something that you are finding that you are struggling with, you need to reach out to me and get into one of our programs so that I can help you tap into that creative side of you, tap into your self-expression, tap into your heart to help you be able to, when you meditate or whenever you connect to yourself, to how to drop from your thoughts and your head into your heart. When I was able to do that, the abundance and the manifestation that I have been able to create from dropping into my heart is a totally different feeling. I dream with my eyes open now. There's times that I close my eyes and bring myself into the moment. And then I'm practicing going from eyes closed to eyes open. And it's so magical. And so if that is something you ever desire is to be able to use the power of your story to grow your business, but also expand your life. Like I said, you need to get into one of our programs. I'm not sure when this podcast episode is going to be aired. I'm pretty sure when it is released, it is going to be, we have just started the luxury program. And so you'll still be able to purchase it and be able to jump in. And in November, the Abundance Codes program will be coming. And that one is all about really connecting to our inner inner body, our inner being, releasing money blocks, and really tapping into manifestation and abundance at a whole new level. So ladies, I just really want to share with you the power of creating an experience for yourself. We go even deeper into experiences inside the luxury program. We talk about self-experiences and we also talk about business experiences and creating an experience for your clients. So if the, like I said, if that's something that interests you, reach out. Of course, you have all my contact. You can go to at Make Life Your Bitch podcast on Instagram. You can go to at Brittany Alicia. You can find me on Facebook, Brittany Alicia on Facebook. And that is it for today. So I want to thank you so much for listening and go make life your bitch. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Make Life Your Bitch podcast. If you enjoyed what you heard today, please share it with your bestie. 
And if you haven't already, subscribe, rate, and review the show on your favorite podcast player. If you have any questions, feedback, or compliments that you want to throw like confetti, you can reach me directly at podcast at makelifeyourbitch.co. Thanks for listening.